Nice. Are you able to see? Hello. And yes, I am wearing a top. And yes, it's that kind of top that I will not be wearing around the house as it is inappropriate, immodest, and I live at home with my parents at this time. So this is just for the sake of the video and because it is hell hecka cute. But anyway, we're going to do a chit chat, sit down style, get ready with me because I'm feeling chatty and I want to do a catch up and I want to rant and ramble and provide some updates for you guys. And so that's what we're going to do. So let me get all of my materials. So what I'm going to do before I start with the talking stuff, uh, I'll just tell you what I'm going to be using. I kind of sort of have an idea. I'll do like my everyday and then the eye look will be different like what I usually do with my get ready with me's, which are very rare and far in between. But loud noise. Um, I'll just tell you like brands and what the product is. So let's do that. Maybe I should have gotten this already and prepared prior, but that is okay. My mascara, I'm kind of sort of bummed. I did a little test on a new Great Lash with just a different, what's it called, brush or whatever. And it's that kind that like leaves little panda uh, circles. Like every time you blink, like it eventually over time, with time throughout the day, will create that. So I should have kept the receipt, which I do not do. Oops. Uh, but anyway, so what else am I going to be using? Do, 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 do. I believe that's everything. So let's just get right on into it. So a lot of this is Maybelline, probably my number one favorite brand for affordability, as well as the product quality itself. Just my go-to. So Maybelline Super Safe Full Coverage powder there's that for foundation this is going to be my first time trying this it is the fit me maybelline blush this is in the shade actually i do not know or is it this one fard a i'm not swearing um jellies jellies reminds me of kangaroo brush is just from mac it is the 15 os no it's not i don't know it's something but it's also worn Maybelline New York, this is my favorite. This is for my inner corners. Again, I don't know the color, but it's probably the most pale, brightest white shade. We are going, right? I'll just be pissed if we're not. Wow, I've already been talking for just under three minutes. Oops. And then this is New Master Sterling Stick Maybelline Highlighter, as well as an illuminating highlighter, more specifically. This is in the shade Light Claire iridescent I guess. Looks like it's 100. That's a cool number. So I went over those things and stuff. Right and then we have Great Lash Maybelline. Lots of lashes and black is black. That's the mascara I've been using. And then we have Profusion Cosmetics Festival eyeshadow palette. 35 shades. So yeah. So you can see me. And I have a mirror right here. This is like a vanity slash desk area where I'm doing the homework and the creative things and stuff, especially my writing. And I have this cute little mirror I've had for forever, which you've probably seen like in a room tour or previous videos or with different angles that is not this one currently. But anyway, so let's just go. By the way, here it is dyed. It's more of a true blonde. Another update for you. It's just in a half up with a really, really pretty pale pink scrunchie. So yeah, let's talk about hair first because, I mean, hello, it's fun. So I've been wanting to change my hair for forever, and this is kind of a joke. I feel like what girls do, well, what anybody does, if they're sad or upset, they want to change. Especially with their appearance, they might go to their hair first. And I feel like I've been wanting this change for a long time, and it just never happened. I never went and did it until just the other day like last week actually a few days ago and i'm so glad i did but it's like maybe i've been sad for a long time because i've been wanting this change for forever and it's more of a true blonde like it's a cool tone kind of looks like an ash blonde i guess you would say that's kind of what my friend referred to it as she loved it my friend ken so shout out to her and i love it this is my natural curl it's kind of wavy as you can tell i got some curl and the last time I did balayage, my first, 
time in my lifetime doing it until now. Um, I would say it was more caramel warm tone based, which I did not want. I was okay with it. I ended up being happy with it, and I did it a total of twice, twice times, a total of two times. I went back to the same person afterwards after some time, maybe like after a year, and it was okay. But it wasn't what I wanted originally. I wanted like a, I would say more cool tone like I had now. And the first time, the very first time that I dyed my hair, I was actually in eighth grade. I have OCD, so this takes some time. Oops. But I was in the eighth grade. I was like 14 years old, and it was like this kind of light pale blonde all over. And I just felt like an angel, and I was called an angel and a princess all the time. And so, ready for those compliments to return to me. I'm just kidding. Um, I like this blush. It's more pink tone. My other one was like more bronzy, which I didn't really like, and I'm hoping I've run out of that soon. I don't want to like waste a product, you know. For expense reasons, especially for a college student here. But I dyed my hair other colors as well, usually different shades of brown, which would sometimes even turn into like a red shade. The next time I dye my hair, thinking I want to go red, like a nice, not bright, air, aerial red, like the Little Mermaid, you know, but I would say an obvious red. So not quite auburn, but maybe strawberry blonde one day, different shades of red eventually, but more of a true red. When I graduate, if I graduate, and you think positive, it's not an if, it's a when, I'm going to graduate. Um, so yeah, and this I've been putting all over my cheeks. You know, I really like that dewy highlighter look, kind of like fairy elfish. Does that make sense? But anyway, um, I just want a big, bold, fun change when I graduate, and I want to walk that stage in my cap and gown with new hair upon my head. Which sounds insanity, but that's okay. I'm just excited. Expense wise, it was two hundred thirty dollars, and I did a twenty dollar tip. The lady is so cool because she like didn't talk. She would only talk about hair things. Like she wanted to update me on my hair, or get tips and tricks and feedback and things. She would answer my questions, but I loved it because she wasn't talking, so I could be on my phone. I'm a very introverted introvert. I have social anxiety. You might not be able to tell, but I do. I struggle with anxiety. <clears throat> Voice crack. But it was just so nice because she wasn't in a chatty mood. And my mom said the same thing with my mom and my grandma Terry as well. Same thing every time that she does their hair. Like, she's chill, which I love. And she just doesn't talk. It's not like she's pestering me with questions or pushing me for responses or... I just don't like people who drill you with questions. I really, really don't. It's really annoying. By the way, I might not be, and that's enough hair talk, okay? But I might not be leaving the house, honestly. I'm going to help my mom organize. We've lived here since November of last year. Here it is. Well, I was going to say July, but now it's August. It's the second. It's a beautiful Tuesday. We're just wanting to go through. I feel like inspired my mom because I've been slowly but surely going through my room. Not really looking because I'm a hoarder and I'm a sentimental bee. But, um... Anyway, just going through some pictures and adding things to the house, which I'm so excited for. I like home shows. Oh, might be going today or sometime this week to my sister Ashley's house who's here in town. Her kids did a little ice cream sale thing. What's it called? Anyway, at their house the other day. Was it yesterday? It's been a blur. I'm off school right now. Like, this is my break. I'm not in class. I'm not doing school right now. It's a nice break. And I just can't keep track of the days anymore. School does start. I'm kind of excited for it. Like, I'm not as anxious. I'm more excited because I'm getting closer to the end, hopefully. But, um, <clears throat> and I'm all over the place at this point. But in a month and a half, and it's going to be starting, I might be a TA. And I also found out this is my little school update, then I'll revert back to what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> voice crack again. <sighs> I'll just take a break from this. <clears throat> Oops. So, yesterday, I'm doing the back and forth again email thread with one of the head honchos of the L.Ed. department. I'm in elementary education. But um, basically, I find out that I don't have to interview again. So I pass the course 99%. I just have to retake the practicum portion. <coughs> My tuition will go down as compared to other semesters because there's not a lot of the class that I have to do. Maybe a TA. So don't have to do any of the coursework, getting paid as a TA, don't have to do the interview again, which I did in March, which really freaked me out, but I did okay. I passed the portfolio presentation, etc., etc. so good things are happening. So yeah, just waiting for my teacher to get back to me so that he can 
and give me authorized permission for himself to me so that I can add the class again. But anyway, um, so yeah. Yeah, might go to my sister's sometime this week, maybe today, I do not know, we need to hear back. But just to watch a house show like Dream Home Makeover, I think is the name, with the blonde chick hair. And uh, she has two little girls and her husband's really hilarious. That's the right family that I'm thinking of. That's the correct show. But anyway. Um, so yeah, the rest of the day gonna help my mom organize. Might organize myself, might do more journaling, organizing for future videos. Um, what else am I gonna be doing? Is that it? That's it. It's gonna be chill. And then the rest of my week, according to my calendar, I did a little like dry erase calendar DIY thing, thinking I wanna sell those and t-shirts and maybe jewelry again. I'll attempt those things. We'll see like a little side hustle type thing. But get ready with me vlog right now. Tomorrow the third, I'm gonna hang out with my friend Emily Ann. I'll see if she's still able to. We're gonna do like a little picnic. So fun. So cute. And then dentist appointment 3 p.m. on Thursday. And then my cousin gets married on Saturday. And that's basically it. I get my English scores on the 12th. So a week from this Friday. That's the middle school English practice education test. Two more to take, two more to pass, so we'll see. Math praxis comes on the 25th at 9 a.m. across town. Purple shampoo, I'm gonna have to, and I'm going back to hair talk. Um, I'm gonna have to get some purple shampoo just to add to this beautifulness. Um, and then Tri Cities on the 7th, which I'm so excited for. Gonna see my girlfriends, either like six or seven, maybe even eight of them, just gonna see everybody obviously correctly. Um, so I'm just really excited. The last time I saw Chris was November of last year. My Tri-Cities friends, I didn't see them the past few times other than Emily. Um, the past few times I have a lot of friends named Emily, I guess. Um, yeah, I just haven't seen them the past few times that I've been there, like none of my girlfriends. So I'm very, very excited. I think it's going to be a really good, fun thing to highlight. Also, we're thinking next week, the week after, I don't know, we're going to do a little trip with some rafting as well as family time, kind of a little reunion with my family here in town, like immediate family and my nephews and my one niece. And then yeah, we're thinking of a lodge, like a cabin, which I love. I may or may not be vlogging. I don't want to annoy my family. Like I vlogged a lot. Hawaii trip last year, Disney trip this year, and just other random things and stuff thrown in there. And thinking of Japan, speaking of trips, me and my dad, my dad went before, and I really gotta get going on this. What color do I want to do? What seems most Augusty? Um, we'll just do pink. I talked to my sister Haley, like FaceTime, you know, on this past Sunday, and she did a pretty pink look, and I was like, whoa, holy poop, like that's so good. So maybe pinky purple. Again, I'm not necessarily leaving the house. If I do, it would be going to my sister Ashley's probably. And she might hardcore judge me for this crazy look, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, good things are happening. Um, this eye, and I like how I started with the sore eye. It was a little pink, not like pink eye or anything, but there was definitely some pink in there. By the way, if you use pink eyeshadow, you may look sick, which is interesting. But I'm doing it anyway. My eye was so sore, I switched out my contacts, put new ones in for my eyeballs. And yeah, it was like, what's going on? So it's still kind of sore, but I think it's feeling a little bit better now. So that's pretty good. Oh, painted my nails yesterday. I have an Essie collection now and I'm so excited. My grandma, I didn't get her an Essie brand nail polish, but she just wanted clear. She hates her nails. Like they kind of have dents in them from age and wear, I guess, if that makes sense. And so I got her some nail polish. But anyway, um, what else? I just bought some shoes. I bought little booties from Steve Madden. Throughout my old ones, my mom hated those like black military inspired type of Steve Madden boots, which I loved, but I think she was right. It was time to move on. They weren't really my style anymore. They were just so beat up. Got rid of some other shoes, sold a pair to my mom, and then I've been replacing them. Just got Tom's, just the classic black pair with black sole. Don't know why I'm telling you guys all this. I'm talking about shoes. Um, and then I just ordered some peach colored Converse, like new from their Converse site. And then I was going to get these floral ones, like white canvas with a beautiful floral pattern. What are they called? Keds to replace my red ones that I just sold. But instead, I just was like, let's go on Poshmark and find some blue ones. 
and now all my shoes will be neutral tones or pink or blue and I just think that's so cute the aesthetic and that's what I'm wearing right now which is kind of funny um so yeah but where I was going with that sore eye and also sore feet so I think it was Sunday maybe Monday I don't know what day again a blur um and I'm like really kidding myself but we go to my sister's to hang out I love her place and her land she's on like the prettiest land in her yard area and the view she has like holy smokes but um we did a little walk and i should have worn socks like my dad said because i'm having to break in those canvas shoes and that was just a bad idea on my part so oops that was okay so my feet are sore um yeah and i've been doing push-ups <laughs> <See those? laughs> um for quite a while now just adding to my stretching routine and i do push-ups 10 on some days but I usually aim for 25 trying to make that happen my OCD is crazy I'm so sorry this is so annoying if it annoys me I know it annoys you guys but and now I'm clown hands but yeah so I'm liking life right now except for sore eyeball and sore feet um I just I can't really complain like these guys are growing kind of I think it's like not fat but the muscle from the push-ups right so I'm thinking that's what it is it just makes sense and just continually trying to gain weight so we'll see what happens and also I'm um, drinking these kind of like almost protein type shakes not really but like it's just chocolate milk tasting a little bit off not quite as good as tasty as chocolate milk but i think that it's helping and i just sometimes have it after a meal or after a snack and i'm still running the last time i ran the other day i think it was last saturday i didn't do so good i had to walk usually i can do a straight mile a mile is like all i can do with my exercise induced asthma and so I was a little annoyed with myself, but it was the best I could do, and it's not the end of the world. This sounds really dumb. I was like, if I have new hair, I'm going to be invincible. Like, everything's going to go perfect. Everything's going to go my way. And I think it's the OCD in me that had that, well, elbow, um, that had that unhealthy, toxic perspective. So I was, like, disappointed. Like, I have this magic, angelic hair now, and what's going on? Like, it wasn't perfect. But it doesn't have to be. So, anyway. Um, what else do I want to update you guys on? Yeah, today might end up being a lazy day or a spontaneous day. Like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't really have plans necessarily. Which I kind of like. I like not knowing. And as a perfectionist, you would think I would. Like, I would be bothered by a lack of plans. But I think it's kind of nice. So, yeah. Um... What else? I'm just trying to think. I feel like I've kind of touched on everything. Um, oh, <laughs> let's go back to OCD talk. Um, my pillows. I have like 14 of them, and I would count them every day. Every time I made my bed, every time I would take them off my bed for the night so I could jump into bed and go to bed. Um, and it was so annoying because I have OCD and I have to count things sometimes. I have to check things. I have repetitive thoughts. I have to count things. Things have to make sense. I repeat the same actions. So annoying. Very obnoxious. So I got rid of them. I parted with them. They're gone now. They're out of my life. I just saved three. Three of my favorites. Now it's like pinky and really cute. And I bought two pillows on this last trip that my mom and I took together. And it was just so much fun. Such a good trip. And yeah. I'm just really grateful for it I love traveling I have all of these goals with travels before I was like okay I want to go to every continent but is that realistic and I'm trying to make it happen I'm trying to manifest things okay manifestation up there I have all these pictures of things everything from hobbies and interests to bigger goals to destination places to relationships friendships and things and I'm just trying to make it happen because it's important and you need goals in this life but some of this just plopped on the oh, what's this called again desk um but yeah so 
I'm feeling. Usually I go to my floor length mirror from my friend Emily. She gave it to me. When I do my scare, it's a lot easier, but for the sake of this video, we'll just do this. It won't be the best quality, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm working on gratitude, counting my blessings, being grateful for what I have, trying to spend less. And if you spend less, that means that you're grateful, you're excited about the things that you already own, and I'm trying to work on that. Um, my scholarship will come this month. Tuition's going down. I'm trying to save up for a Japan trip to treat myself and just have fun and take my dad somewhere. He works so, so hard. And because of his old job, I have a scholarship and I really want to give back. And it would mean the world to him if he can go to that part of the world. So that's really important. Um, let's talk about Daxton. Daxton's doing great. It's going to be 14 this year. In human years, that's too old. Even in dog years, that's really old. But I love him. And he's such a good guy. And I walk him every day. I cuddle him every day. And I just love him every day. And he's just so cute. And I want to take pictures with this makeup look. Maybe with him. Excuse me. I already took some pictures of my new hair. Which was fun. Because I love photography. So I'm trying to work on my creative things. When I think of my hobbies and interests, three things come to my mind and are in my heart, my free soul, my being, right? And that's videos, photography, and writing. And I'm writing a book. I should be able to publish it this month, I believe. It's called Imagination Rose. Roses are the theme in all of my books. I squeeze in symbolism with roses or I use the name Rose or something like that, and this one will be good. Someone, a friend from church, just bought my book, Grandma Rose, which I published last year. And so, I'm just feeling blessed. Corny and cheesy, I know. Oh, what would I do that for? Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the other mirror. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, and we are back, and my camera's probably now all pink. I wouldn't mind if it were a different shade of pink, like naturally, like how it came. But uh, now it's probably this color pink, because I didn't wash my hands. But I didn't do as bad as I thought. I just had to touch up a little bit here and there. So, let's put some things back. I have a little, like, spinning thing from Amazon, whatever. There we go. Um, but yeah, so, life is pretty good. And I feel like, oh, this is in the wrong video, oops. I feel like I can't really complain. Oh, I mow lawns tomorrow, I almost forgot. I really, really, really like lawns. It forces me to get outside. I don't like this time of year, honestly, like it's okay. My mental health isn't the best, but that's okay. You know, cause I'm brave and I'm strong and I can do this and it's temporary. Everything is temporary, right? Um, so basically, I love sweaters. Doesn't show because I'm in this right now. Let's do more of this. Did I do everything? Foundation, blush, highlight, um, inner corner, and eyeshadows, and mascara. Okay, not eyeliner. I don't really do that anymore. But mental health this time of year. So I just I'm not the happiest this time of year. Like I wish it were different, but that's okay. Um, I'm like always in a sweater. Don't really go outside that much. Don't really like the sun. I like the sunset, I like the sunrise, I like the sky, but there's just something about this time of year. Everyone else is so excited, and I'm just like, let's skip to fall. Let's go. Uh, my little skittles container. <laughs> you can stop buying candy. But anyway, you just stop buying stuff, period. Um, so yeah, what else? What else should I update you on? I really can't think of anything. I think I really truly said it all, you know? But, um, yeah. I'm feeling pretty okay. My eyes look a little crazy. That's okay. I did an all over matte hot pink and then a purpley pinky mixture kind of shade glimmer in it um, on the edge half um, going out <laughs> words. 
and then just the white in the center. And I carried some of the sparkly pink purple shade down here to the outer corner. Makes sense? Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good for now. You never know with rapid cycling bipolar how long it's going to last. It can be hours or it can be days long of inner peace and joy and contentment and some type of mania here and there, like you're happy and you don't know why, or you're not sleeping as well, you're not able to fall asleep, um, like sometimes that will happen to me, or I'm just not sleeping well because I procrastinate on homework or planning like a lesson or something, oops, but there's none of that because I'm not in school right now. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm going to turn the camera off if it's even been on. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will go and do stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I will go do some stuff. And I just want to keep talking because it's fun and I love cats and it's just grand old time. Oh, this. Where am I? Okay, this is from my friend's store across town. It's a little rose. I love my roses pink rose container, kind of like EOS, Rios, Rios, whatever. Um, just a plain chapstick. What we'll do is actually just do that. I like this. So just get that moisture on there. It won't do lip gloss, lip shade, lipstick. We'll just leave it at that. So I'm going to go for the day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And this is when I leave you. So let me wash these hands. But yeah. Oh, thought of the day positivity just for you to you from me is that phrase right to you okay um let's see i would say see your blessings and manifest them as well you can man manifest the positivity i think manifestation comes true like this those things and stuff for instance because you think it you create it in your mind you imagine it coming true you have that dream, that hope, that desire, that wanting, that needing, right? And just that alone, the idea pops in your head like, hey, this is what I want. This is my goal, right? You're already step one on the ladder getting to that reality. And it can turn into your reality because you think it and you ponder it and you want it, right? So that's what a dream is. You make it come alive and it comes true, right? And I have a quote on my desk right here, create dream. We create our tomorrows by what we dream today. And we do create, like we are creators of our destiny, of our futures. And I love that. So that's what I'm going to say. Bye.